Madam. Welcome to week two, episode four of our daily video. Yesterday we covered over the artist, Eva Gonzalez, right? And she did a lot of still lifes and landscapes and also portraits. So the artist we're going to learn about today is from France as well, and his name is Paul Cezanne. He was born January 19th, 1839. So I'm trying to think and remember what a still life was. Do y'all remember what a still life was? Hmm. All right, so a still life is when an artist takes a whole bunch of objects and they set them up on a table and then they sit back and they draw them while they look at them. So if I were to take maybe these rocks that I actually got in Iceland and I got this crystal as a gift, it's really cool. And if I were to kind of like arrange these on a table and then kind of stand back and draw them, could this be a still life? Hmm, yes, right, it could be a still life. So what's interesting about Paul Zizan is that he was an impressionist, but he kind of changed a little bit into another type of painting called post-impressionism. And that came after impressionism. And that is why whenever you put the word post in front of anything, it means it comes after. So if I were to say, I want cake post lunch, that means I want my cake after lunch, right? So when Cezanne first started painting, he was an impressionist. So he focused on light and brush strokes and all those things that we've seen in the other paintings in the previous days. But when he started to move over to that new way of painting, called post-impressionism, he started to look at objects and turn them into basic geometric shapes or forms. So if he were to see an apple, he would see a sphere. Or if he were to see a tree trunk, he would see maybe a cylinder. In a moment, I'm gonna switch the screen and we're gonna get to see some of Paul Cezanne's artworks. We're gonna first start out with the impressionism artworks. Then we're gonna get to look at some of his post-impressionism artworks. Remember during this time, if you want to pause the video and do a table talk or share out with someone nearby, you can do so now because we want to pretend like we're in the classroom. So I'm going to get ready and switch the video. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we have a self-portrait of Paul Cezanne. I believe this was done with oil paint. Here's an impressionist painting by Cezanne of his father reading above his father's head a small painting using cool colors. Another impressionist painting called Le Stack, a seascape or a landscape. Notice the cool colors up top and the warm colors on the bottom. This is where we have post-impressionism showing through with the simple shapes of the peaches and the pitcher and the simple shapes of the curtain and the fabric. Here we also have the simple shapes forming the buildings and the trees. Look at the brush strokes. They look like rectangles and squares. All right, set them. So we got to see some of Paul Cezanne's artworks. We got to see a still life. We saw a portrait. And then we also got to see um, a seascape, which also I can also read as a landscape because you see both. And really quick, I wanted to share with you um, earlier, I was looking at one of my art books, which is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which is in New York, and I found some of Paul Cezanne's artworks in here. So I just found a couple. I found this seascape. So it has a lot of warm colors in the village, right? And then right here, we also have one of his still lifes. So I really wanted to share these with you. All right, so I thought that was kind of cool. I had some of Paul Cezanne's artwork right here at home with me. Now remember, the difference between post-impressionism and impressionism is that post-impressionism was when you looked at an object and you broke it down into a simple shape or a simple form. So if I were to break this crystal down into one simple shape, if I drew a line around it, maybe it would be a square. So I could say that, right? I could draw this first as a square and then start drawing maybe little tiny rectangles inside to represent the big quartz crystals. All right, so, then, so this brings us to the end of our video. I'll be back tomorrow with another French Impressionist artist for you. And don't forget that your art exit ticket needs to be completed by Saturday. See you tomorrow, Sedem. Bye.